Hi, I'm Rinley and I am going to make a series of videos that are probably uncut so that I don't have to edit anything else, but the videos are going to be how it is that I go from impacting not very many people to impacting 100,000 people in the next three years is the goal. And I'm doing this by creating a business that is giving people access to multiple different types of healing modalities to workshops led by coaches of multiple healing modalities. So I'm hiring people right now and I'm going to tell you the full story and you get to watch as it's happening. Um, because I realized that there are not very many people who do a video documentation of going from um, not having very much impact to having a lot of impact. I'm really excited about the impact that I'm going to be making. So yeah, this is going to be a really long series. This The entire channel is going to be about this. Uh, so let's start from the very beginning. My toddler is napping right now. My monitor is right here. So I'm just going to be checking her every so often. But I quit my job a year ago. Right now it is April 18th, maybe, of 2024. I quit my job April 1st was my first, well, March 31st whatever the last day of March is, is my, was my last day of work. And I quit my job because I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, I just didn't know what that was going to be like. And so I also wanted to be able to spend more time with our baby. Um, she was maybe eight months old at that point, almost a year. She was almost a year old because her birthday's in May. So and I just felt like I was going to miss her steps and all of that. And I just couldn't. My mama heart couldn't. So I've always had the entrepreneurial like thing inside of me. And so I decided to just jump off the cliff, you know, and it's been a hell of a ride. And I was supposed to have made it in like six months uh, because that's really all we could afford for me to take off. And now a year later, we're still doing okay. I don't know how. Um, just like the universe conspiring in my favor. That's what I'm going to say that it is. Um, because I do believe that the universe is always conspiring in my favor. And so the journey has been wild. Originally, I was going to do... Um, I created a company called Avail. And... I was going to be a wedding coordinator for brides and I did do two weddings and they were so much fun. I love uh, tasking like that and taking care of people and making sure that everybody is where they need to be and making sure that everybody has what they need to have. Um, I'm just the personality type. I really love that kind of stuff. And, um, and then I decided that like that just wasn't going to be the path right now. Um, and so I thought about getting into like sales coaching because I have a sales background or getting into some business coaching because I've been um, the general manager of different companies and stuff. So I already knew a lot about business um, because I used to say that I'm going to ruin somebody else's business before I ruin my own, which is really funny. And and then I kind of pivoted away from that and I was floating around for a little while. I wasn't sure like really what I wanted to do. I started posting about some of my trauma online, my childhood trauma, and my very first video about my childhood trauma actually blew up. Um, and then I started consistently posting about my trauma and then I created a Discord group and I had hundreds of people enter in the first like week. Um, right now it's currently 1300 people long, um, but I haven't been advertising it at all at this point. It's been open, it's been available since December. Right now it's April. Um, so, and I haven't had anybody join in like two months or so, um, or not a notable amount of people just because I stopped advertising it. Um, so that was eye opening, having just like so many people who could relate to me. And then now I have all of these friends who need help and want help and don't really have anywhere to go uh, because therapy is just so expensive. And then like healing, healing, and then like hiring coaches of these different uh, healing modalities like what I'm doing that's very expensive too so there's just like no access to mental health care that is actually like accessible for I'm gonna say a normal person you know what I mean so I happen to have a lot of coaches who are friends like in various healing modalities and I've been cold DMing people and so 
originally my thought was, you know, maybe I'll create a company and I'll hire like four coaches in and then they'll put on workshops and I'll pay the coaches a certain amount and they have to do a certain amount every month. Um, and then I realized that I could make it so that coaches can gain the traction that they deserve too, which is so exciting. I wanted to get into motivational speaking for a little while and um, I didn't really know how to like enter the industry or anything like that. And it just would have been so nice to have something like this when I was trying to be a motivational speaker, when I was trying to be a fitness coach, um, because what I'm doing, let me tell you what other companies are doing. Other companies are making you pay for exposure. So other companies, I as a coach would have to pay the company to put on a workshop for their audience for exposure. So what I'm doing is I'm paying coaches to put on workshops. They get exposure and they can take one-on-one -on -one clients. I'm not taking anything from them. I'm taking nothing. I'm not taking a fee for one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not taking anything from them. Um, and then, and then all of the uh, clients will be able to have access. Right now the membership is going to be $35 a month. Um, maybe I can make it cheaper in the future. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but I, I get to help two groups of people. I get to help both versions of past me. I get to help the, the version of coach past me who would have loved something like this. And then I get to help the client side. Um, if I would have had access to like multiple workshops of different healing modalities, like that would have been so cool. I am low key super excited anyways, because I'm going to be uh, obviously like taking some of these workshops because healing is never ending. And that's become really apparent lately, but that's another story for another time. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm just so excited to be creating this. So I'm also very nervous because I really want it to work because I'm pouring everything I have into this. I've hired a business coach. I'm interviewing coaches. I have an interview tonight. I have an interview tomorrow. I have four interviews next week. I've already hired four people. It'll be five, including myself. Cause I'll do like stretching or, um, maybe I'll do some workouts or something. We'll see whatever people need. I'll just like fill in, um, obviously within my scope of expertise. Right. But this is going to help so many people in so many different ways. And I just hope that, I just hope that it works and that it takes off because of the amount of people that this could help. And there's another part of the story that I haven't told you about yet. So I've called it the I can cohort and it's I K A N and K A N stands for Ken and Nancy. And those are my grandparents. My grandparents are the best. My grandpa is a firefighter. He's, I think he's 85 right now. I think he's getting ready to turn 85. Him and my baby share a birthday, which is just so sweet. Um, and he's still a firefighter and he's a volunteer. So he only makes $10 per call and he can be out there for hours. You know, he's totally, he's just lived his life in service of others. And same thing with my grandma. She makes these beautiful quilts, um, hand makes them. They're jean quilts. They're so beautiful and she gives them out to people and she refuses to sell them and she's made hundreds uh and she keeps like cookies in the freezer in case somebody comes over because she doesn't want people to leave empty-handed and she writes letters to uh people inside of the inside of their um assisted living community so who don't have family so that they're getting letters every single week she used to hand write them she's been doing this for probably a decade over a decade, she's been doing this for, she's been doing this for like 15 years, maybe longer. And she used to handwrite them up until just like four years ago, she started typing them and printing them, but she was handwriting letters to all of these people. My grandparents are incredible. And this is a brand that is going to carry on their legacy and allow them to just continue to give. I'm going to cry to just continue to give and spread their wings and they're gonna help people worldwide and I'm so excited. And I just told them the other day about this and grandma bawled her eyes out on the phone. And then when we got off the phone, um, later grandma had told me that grandpa was also crying. He was just at a loss for, he was saying, I don't know what to say. And I'm just, there are so many good things about this. So I hope people want it and I hope people like it. And I hope I get to look back at this video and just feel really proud of myself for making this. Okay. Okay.
I think that'll do it for the first video. All right. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here. <sighs> Bye, friend.